many people have asked me how to make a bullhorn, and I thought I would at least show you my basic process. Now, this whole process is very extensive. Uh, if I took you through everything, then it would take quite a while, but I'm going to show you the main elements of how we take this raw uh, horn and turn it into a beautiful sounding instrument. First of all, you can use a uh, Catalina goat horn like this, or you can use a uh, antelope horn like this. I take this wire and I stick it down here as far as it will go, kind of twisting it. I pinch it at the end and I bring it back out and bring my finger back where it was. And so I make a mark right there. And that shows me how that inner diameter the inner hollow diameter it shows me how far it goes which is up to there so now we're going to take uh, about an inch and a quarter from there we're going to make another mark you're going to cut that off just perpendicular with the horn this is just a frame saw with a hacksaw blade on it What it looks like at this point I take a, uh, a 5 16th bit let's take a little bit off at a time trying to follow that little white dot okay I got I got it now and if I blow here, it's definitely blowing through. So that's what we want. Depending on you know what size of the end here, you would you would determine whether you want a three quarters of an inch head or a half inch head. I think I'm going to go for the half inch because three quarter of an inch right there. If I do that, it's going to make a real thin wall right there, and it's going to be really uh, sharp. I'm just I'm doing a little bit at a time. Now let's see how it sounds. I'm going to play the note and we're going to see what key it's in. an A if you didn't see that and it's a little bit flat so a little bit flat of an A now I'm gonna put the uh, the holes in place so what I do is I I kind of pick out the middle of the horn and the middle is about right here okay so what I'm gonna do is get my hand right there in the middle with all four fingers about an inch spaced apart so an inch, inch spacing for each finger. And I'll hold that, so it's about right in the middle. Um, kind of like that, if you can see, okay? So now I'm gonna take a Sharpie, and I'm just gonna put my, a little dot where the fingers are, right where the pads of my fingers are. See those four dots. Three sixteenths inch brad point drill bit in there. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna drill this one first. Three sixteenths. Okay, so there's three sixteenths hole. Let's see how that sounds. So it went from A to B flat, so that's good. I'm going to increase the size, 
So I'm gonna go a little bit higher, uh, a little bit bigger of a drill bit. And I'm gonna, this is not a brad point, this is a regular drill bit. And I'm just gonna drill this in here and make the hole a little bit bigger. Let's see how that sounds. The actual lowest note, which was almost an A, is is now down to A flat almost. So that's because I'm cutting a hole, and it actually when I cut holes, it actually creates more internal space. All right, I'm gonna go to the next section there. Let's go to the next one. Let's see how that sounds. The last hole right here. quite nice all right now the only thing is that it's flat it's right between a flat and a so I really gonna have to bring it up to a and let me show you how I do that here I've got it in the in the bench vise it's pretty nice and secured so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a half inch off okay now that I got this cut here. Watch this. It's right on A. And now what we're going to do is go through here and microtune it. And we have one more hole up here at the very top, which is a thumb hole. And I'm going to put that in before I microtune. So what I do is I got my fingers on all the holes. If I could draw a line going all the way around to the other side of the horn and I go half an inch up, that's where I'm going to be putting my next hole, which is the last hole. So I'm going to mark that. That's, that's where your thumb is going to be. 3 sixteenths inch bit. Now that we got this completely tuned, now we're going to do micro tuning. And it's going to, of course, this scale is a minor scale. And since it's in the key of A, it'll, the, the notes would be fully covered A, one finger off B, next finger off C, next finger off D, next finger off E, next finger off F okay that, that's how we do that I'm gonna tune this one first where my pinky is it's pretty much just right there just a little bit flat so let me take a drill bit and make it a little bit bigger This is just a, a process that I do that you if you want to learn how to tune it's going to take time. Okay, that's that's it. So that's why I've got that with that hole. I'm going to go through that same process for all five holes. I have a choice at this point whether I want to put grooves in there. I'll show you how I do grooves. Alright, so I use this sander here to uh, kind of cut and carve out some nice grooves for my fingers to, to kind of fit right in. So 
Okay, so I've got these grooves nice cut and sanded. So now I'm going to do the mouthpiece and the end. I'm just going to sand it down. So at this point we're going to be doing some sanding. Uh, I've already sanded the mouthpiece and then this and then the end, but I need to just kind of blend it all together and make it look good. So I'm going to do some hand sanding with 180 grit sandpaper. Okay, we got this pretty much sanded here. One eighty or two twenty, somewhere around there, and then we're going to use hard wax to finish it, brush it off. We're going to put just a layer, actually, two layers of hard wax, but you put one layer and then you let it let it dry and then you put your next layer and then we're going to do some polishing at this point it's about ready I'm I'm almost done polishing I'm going to just put it through a polishing wheel if I want it a little bit shiny, but even if, even at this point, it's, it's good to go. It's got hard wax on it, and it's preserved. Um, I want to always check for, you know, any kind of like little nibs or debris or anything like that in the mouthpiece or the holes. Just make sure that it looks good, of course. But that's it. I'll show you how it sounds. That's it.